Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's video. We're going to do the weekend forecast today. Uh, got some really unsettled weather coming up next week across England and Wales in particular. Some very uh, wet weather around the middle uh, of next week. Really torrential rain possible indeed. And now before we get on video, I just want to talk about the advertising. Most usually be a video ad over there. My web videos at gasworthvids.com. Please play those videos, you'll be supporting gasworthvids.com by doing that. And please remember, you do not need to download any additional software to watch, watch my videos. Uh, these are YouTube videos, they should play on all play on all computers and browsers uh, without the need for any additional software downloads. So we're going to start off with the uh, Met Office forecast. You can find the Met Office website on my uh, links page. Uh, this is the situation today. The Met Office radar picture is showing that we've got some showy rain across Scotland, but the heavy rain and torrential rain that I had across northern east of Scotland has finally eased. Uh, but we have still got some showy rain up there over Scotland, some uh, showers coming down into Northern Ireland. Around these western uh, coasts through Wales, southwest England, northwest England as well, we have got some showers. And generally, I think the showers will get more uh, widespread and heavier as we run through the afternoon. Almost anywhere uh, could pick up a shower uh, this afternoon, particularly perhaps through parts of northern England, eventually coming down into the uh, Midlands as well and through Wales also. So, if you have a look at uh, the uh, charts now from the models, and this is the uh, jet stream for today. This is the jet stream forecast. Here's the jet stream barreling across the Atlantic. Very intense uh, jet stream there. Then diving southwards uh, down to, to the southwest of the uh, island. Uh, but this strong jet stream is uh, uh, the signs of trouble to come, really. This is going to be feeding in some very intense areas of low pressure as we run through uh, next week. But for today, actually, we're under this very slack area of low pressure here across the country. So that's the reason that we've got showers around. Um, but a lot of dry weather as well and some sunny spell. Now, it is cold today. Uh, very cold, really, for the 13th of October. Temperatures in the north, just 5, 6, 7. In the south, perhaps up to around uh, 10, 11, maybe 12 degrees along the south coast. But these temperatures are well below where they should be uh, for the middle of October. More like sort of temperatures you would expect in the early uh, part of of November. Now overnight we're uh, still going to be under this slack area of low pressure. We're going to find the showers dying back towards the coast. Most areas becoming dry and clear. Could be some mist and fog patches developing. Mainly about night though it's going to be a very cold night. Temperatures uh, widely down to just one, two, three degrees. So a widespread ground frost. Not just in rural areas but in some uh, uh, built up locations there could be some ground frost. Uh, really from the Midlands northwards we could be looking at air frost as well with temperatures getting down to anything to minus one. One, uh, minus two degrees so a frosty night to come in the north and a ground frost uh, certainly possible almost anywhere particularly in rural areas but also in some uh, built up areas as well so a very cold night uh, for the middle of October now going into a uh, Sunday we find that low pressure clearing away uh, to the east we've got a bit of a ridge of high pressure then starting to uh, come in from the west I think we're probably still looking at some showers around uh, the eastern coast um, maybe some around western coast as well but mainly around the eastern coast and possibly a longer spell of rain uh, close to the East Anglian coast. Uh, but really a lot of dry weather for Sunday, more dry weather on Sunday than will be the case uh, today. Uh, good sunny spells really once any early mist and fog has gone away. The cloud will bubble up and it'll be fair weather cloud really, but uh, some sunny spells certainly, uh, good sunny spells coming through. Won't do much to help the temperature, it's going to be a very cold start of course with a widespread ground frost, air frost in places in the north and temperatures eventually struggle up to around 10 or 11, so around 50 to 52 Fahrenheit but again that's well below average uh, for uh, the middle of September. Uh, October, I should say, what we're talking about, not September, it's October, isn't it? So as we go through into uh, Monday, we're going to find this area of low pressure then starting to push in off the Atlantic. And this really then sets the scene for what is going to be a very unsettled week. Monday starts off on a dry and fine note, but many parts of the country again, it will be quite cold. Perhaps not quite as cold on Sunday night as it will be on Saturday night, but even so, it'll be a pretty cold start for Monday morning. Long sunny spells, but uh, eventually cloud rain is going to arrive across Ireland, Wales, southwestern England, mainly dry, staying mainly dry uh, for northern and eastern parts of the country. Temperatures perhaps struggling up a little bit more, up to around 12 or 13 degrees. 13 is 55, but that's still quite cold at the middle of October. 
Then as we go through into Monday night into Tuesday, we're going to take that rain across the country. Uh, so the first area of rain moves across the country Monday night. It'll still be around in eastern areas, I think, on Tuesday morning, but eventually it's going to clear out of the way. And then we bring this very, very weakest of transient ridges across the country on Tuesday. So Tuesday actually perhaps not too bad a day once we get rid of that early rain in the east. A large amount of dry weather, uh, but the next area of low pressure is waiting to the west of our map may well spread cloud and rain in towards Ireland uh, by the end of Tuesday. Temperatures on Tuesday perhaps string up a little bit more, maybe up to 13 or 14 degrees. So 14 is 57 for 7 Fahrenheit. So early next week you do see a slight recovery in those temperatures compared to what we've got at the weekend. A very unsettled day for Wednesday. This low pressure is dominated where they're taking heavy rain up across the country, particularly England and Wales, I think, at risk of some uh, really wet weather on Wednesday. Eventually that rain uh, will get up in towards southern parts of Scotland as well. But Scotland probably stays mainly dry on Wednesday with some sunny spells but for Ireland, England and Wales it will be a cloudy and wet day. Temperatures again around 13 or 14 degrees uh, but it will feel cold of course under the cloud and persistent and heavy rain. Now as we go through in towards Thursday we've got another area of low pressure developing down the southwest and that will be pushing northwards again through the course of the day. So I think Thursday we're probably looking at quite a wet start in the east that will clear away then a drier slot for a time but more heavy rain then starts to pile up from the southwest particularly across England and Wales uh, being very wet through the course of Thursday afternoon with some uh, really quite heavy and torrential rain indeed. Uh, again, Scotland probably misses the worst of it and stays mainly dry. Temperatures on Thursday again up to around 13, 14, possibly 15 degrees. That's 59 Fahrenheit. And then on Friday, where well, we probably take that persistent rain away to the north and the east, but then we're into a run of quite heavy showers and this quite slack area of low pressure for Friday. So sh Friday looks like a showery day with some quite heavy showers around. Uh, some of those could be actually a little bit thundery. And as we go in towards next weekend, we've got to watch for this area of low pressure developing off the coast of Portugal that could well push northwards and bring another area of very heavy rain across England and Wales through the course of next weekend with showers with this area of low pressure across Scotland and Northern Ireland. That's a long way off and quite speculative but certainly we do have to be watching out by next weekend for flooding if that area of low pressure starts to push up from uh, Portugal because uh, the rivers will be very full, particularly across England and Wales next weekend. Finally, have a look at the charts from the weatheroutlook.com. You can find this website on my links page as as well as you can those charts from wetcentral.de everything all of the websites i'm using for for this video are on the links page uh, so for today well we've got the showers here across the country but a good deal of uh, dry weather in places as well uh, for sunday a nice day long sunny spells here could be some showers around the eastern coast maybe a longer spell of rain close to the east anglian coast but really a lot of dry weather for sunday it will be cold though uh, sun doing nothing really to recover the temperatures for Monday, a lot of fine weather, but we'll have to bring cloud and rain into the west through the course of the day, and that will spread eastwards then across the country Monday into Tuesday. Tuesday, not too bad. A lot of fine weather. Once we clear away that rain from the eastern side, uh, we'll have quite a bit of fine weather on Tuesday with some sunny spells. But then from Wednesday, it turns very wet in the south. England and Wales seeing heavy rain moving in and Ireland as well. And then through uh, Thursday, again, another area of heavy rain here for England, Wales and Ireland. Scotland and always missing the worst of it for uh, Friday. Uh, well, it's more of a showery scene. This is showing a lot of dry weather, but I think Friday will be quite showery, actually. And then as we go into next weekend, we have to watch out for another area of heavy rain uh, pushing up from Portugal, um, particularly perhaps for Sunday. So in summary, well, we're looking at a cold weekend, but uh, showery for Saturday, dry for Sunday. Temperature staging a little bit of a recovery early next week, but turning very unsettled. That's the main thing about next week. It's going to be very wet, particularly for England and Wales, Wednesday and Thursday, both seeing some really wet weather indeed. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.